hi guys welcome back to living with linda and if you're new welcome once again and please consider subscribing and join our beautiful youtube family so today we are getting everything done i will do a mini grocery haul i'll declutter organize clean and i'm also going to bake a carrot cake which is one of my favorite cakes i hope you'll enjoy the video and get tons of motivation to get things done in your space and let's get right into it I love doing my shopping in Carrefour, that's because most of the time they are on special offer so I get to save a lot. In this section we have some milk, uh, here we have some Spanish roll, then uh, we have some eggs, uh, we have some ketchup, Cerilac for Ellie. This is just some chicken crumbs. We have some mixed pickles. And guys, this is really nice with pilau. Try it out, guys. I'm sure you love it. It's really nice with pilau. Uh, some coffee, and this is actually mine. I'm the only one having coffee in this house, so this is good enough for a month. Uh, some juice. This is uh, mango, uh, no, orange and apple. We have some lacto-free milk. I'm actually lacto intolerant, so I do take lacto-free milk. Here we have some oats for breakfast. Just some bread bites for Kim. Toothpaste, this is for my kids. Then we do have some granola. This is my favorite. Here we have uh, formula milk for Eliza. Uh, here some juice, fruit cocktail. This section we have some cereals and this is actually for Scott. This is for Kim. And Coco Pops is for Eliza. So they all have preferences when it comes to cereals. Uh, here we have some basmati rice. I hope this is nice. It's actually my first time I'm going to try this brand. I hope I like it. Then we just have some cheese balls, which is just some bites for my kids. We have some samosa. It's meat samosa. So basically, actually it's beef samosa. Then uh, we have some chips, tomato flavor. We have some cooking oil. I usually buy a for cooking oil and I prefer to have the sunflower oil. Then we do have some corn with butter. Some turkey ham, which we like to have for breakfast ice cream and this is uh, vanilla and strawberry and I got it at a special offer so the price was really good here we have some yogurt and it's actually assorted so one side is the strawberry the other side is mixed fruits then we do have some uh, frozen chapati which I like to actually I don't really like frozen chapati but on lazy days then yeah this is what I actually prepare for my family on those days when I don't feel like cooking so guys we also have some chicken so this is just chicken wings then we have some mixed parts chicken as well uh, some red apples gizzard and i love this with ugali some uh, white onions tomatoes some ginger and dania and also i bought this uh, centivia clorox actually do avoid using Clorox while cleaning my bathrooms because of the strong scent but I see this is scented actually it's a Japanese spring blossom so I want to try this and see if I can stand the smell if it's nice then well and good I'll use it anyway I'll give you guys a feedback once I use it it has a really nice smell So I have stored all the grocery in the right place I have also washed all the produce and stored it in the fridge now the last thing I'm going to do now is to store all the cereal then we will head over to my kids room for some declutter and organization. Was in the crowd but I felt so alone. Looked at my phone like every other second. My future was blurry and numb. A tunnel where there's no light. Oh but then you came and sat right next to me.
rubbed off the cold around me I heard you say that everything is alright But how did you know how I felt? You saw right through me that day I was lost in space But you pulled me down and wiped away I will start by folding some laundry I get new subscribers every single day so I always feel it's good to introduce myself so if you're new to my channel welcome once again my name is Linda I'm a wife and a mother to three kids Kimberly who's eight years she just turned eight last week uh, Scott is five years then I have Tunu who's 23 months she'll be one year next month I like having a clean and organized space so I do a lot of cleaning organization cooking deco so the, if this is the kind of content you enjoy watching, please consider subscribing and join our YouTube family. Also leave a comment down below, introduce yourself. I'd love to hear from you and I love chatting with you guys. I didn't post a video last week. I was actually out of town. We went for a staycation to celebrate Kim's 8th birthday. I'm sure for those who follow me on Instagram, you saw my photos and uh, we really had a good time, guys. I also needed that break to recharge before school starts, which has actually now begun. So that means uh, busy weekdays as we do homeschooling. But again, I really had a good time and I'm fully recharged. We are done folding the clothes. It's now time to declutter and organize Tunu's chest of drawers. Tunu is actually my 23 month old daughter and she outgrows her clothes quite fast. So I'm always decluttering her clothes. So Tunu uses diapers at night. She's actually potty trained, but obviously in the night when she's sleeping, she still needs to use diapers. Uh, hopefully she'll stop using them soon.
These two boxes are for storing socks, bibs and scarves. So this section is done. So here I'm just trying to sort out some of the clothes that she has outgrown and any old clothes. These are the clothes she has outgrown. It's actually not much and that's because I keep on decluttering her clothes every now and then. The place is now well organized and looks really good. So I bought slime for my kids a few days ago and this is the outcome. It's all over the carpet so I have to clean it. I use a stonish carpet and upholstery to get stains off my carpet. This was not easy to remove guys, it requires a lot of elbow grease. I don't think I will buy slime anytime soon. I'd rather buy Play-Doh but not slime. I vacuum my floors every day just because I have a toddler who likes playing on the floor. So I just have to ensure that the floor is always clean. I'm sure for those with kids, you know what I mean. My dining area carpet is out for cleaning. The laundry guys picked it up yesterday, so they will bring it back tomorrow. Mm -hmm. 
I love changing my decor every now and then. So today we will decorate the console table. Once done, we will move to the kitchen to prepare our carrot cake. I'm using the car for glass and window cleaner to clean my console table. So baby, we start living now. I love how this turned out. Let me know what you think, guys. If you want to go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind of hopes. So, guys, I'm going to bake a carrot cake. And uh, we'll need some carrots. So, this is actually three large carrots. Uh, some pineapple. And we are going to crush this. So, I'll blend it in the blender. All purpose flour. We'll need some salt some tea masala, uh, some baking soda, we also need uh, baking powder, then sugar, three eggs, some cinnamon, and lastly some vegetable oil. Now to prepare the cake we need two and a half cups of uh, all-purpose flour. I will include everything in the description box below and that includes also the measurement. The next thing we are going to add is two teaspoons of cinnamon. Then we'll have a quarter teaspoon of tea masala, uh, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of baking soda. Make sure to mix all the dry ingredients well. It's now time to mix our wet ingredients and we'll start off with one cup of sugar and three eggs. It's now time to add our vegetable oil and guys make sure to add the oil gradually not all at once. This is just to ensure that it mixes well. It's now time to add our dry ingredients 
and this as well make sure to add it gradually mix it until it's all incorporated Add carrots and mix it well. The last thing I'm going to add is the blended pineapples. And actually pineapples add a very good taste to the carrot cake and apart from that it also makes it moist so basically what happens is that uh, pineapples have enzymes that break down protein in the flour so it makes the cake to be very moist try it out guys you will love it I've already applied butter on the baking pan and uh, one more thing guys once you pour the butter in the pan just make sure to level the butter so that the cake will bake evenly never up never down never like a theme in a song clever feeling high feeling low at the same time place it in the oven and for the oven it should be 180 degrees centigrade or 350 degrees fahrenheit and this will bake for about 25 to 30 minutes the cake is done guys it smells amazing i wish you guys could smell it through your screens it's really nice this goes so well with a cup of coffee or tea for kids i prefer to give it with a, a glass of milk we have come to the end of our video guys thank you so much for watching until the end i hope you have enjoyed it and also been inspired to get things done in your space Please don't forget to like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye.